Hello, everybody! DF here, and we're back with Danganronpa School Mode! Or should I say, Enchanting Dangan Academy! Purely Prismatic Souls! And, uh, just to let you know that I uh, went to the school store via the menu and went to bought some more gifts with the coins I had. And realized you could do that. So, let's just keep going. Because now we're trying to make a cooking Monokuma. Okay. Really pay attention to what we're supposed to do here. Um. Also, is there anything we gotta... Okay, I guess we can only do that if someone's really passed out, but good to know. What do we need? Okay, we got enough medicine. We need kitchen knives, recipe books, and gas burners. So. Let's make a couple of these, actually. Just one. So we need syringe. Oh, we can make. We need more Bunsen burners. Okay. More hyper energy. Uh, yeah, let's try that out. Okay, what is it we need? We need. Oh, sorry. I used some of my kitchen knives. Well, we're going to get some more kitchen knives, recipe books, and. Where's the gas burners? And Bunsen burners. Bunsen burners, kitchen knives, recipe books. Yay, Bunsen burners. Maybe I should have saved the kitchen knives. All right. What would you like to do? Go meet with someone. Hmm. Well, I know I got something Hina would like after the school store. Yeah, what would you like to do? Spend time together? <laughs> okay, you want to go for a walk? I don't care oh. where to. Although, no matter where we go, we're still stuck in this stupid school. Yeah, we walk aimlessly around the school. Grew a little closer today. Yeah, because I know I got something you'll really like. <laughs> Ooh, I got cola and rosehip tea and potato chips. I got I got a lot of new things. There it is, flotation donut. She'll definitely love this. <laughs> How thoughtful. This is why I like you, Makoto. Oh. Er, I mean, not like, like, like. Not that kind of like. Seeing Hina so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Ah, oh. uh, so hungry. P please. Makoto, help me. I'm hungry. What am I supposed to do? Oh. I need food. Anything. I don't care if it's a stack of paper. I need food. Let's go to the dining hall. Why don't you just eat some more donuts? Just a second. I can't! That's my secret weapon! For emergencies only! If I keep gorging on something with that many calories, I get fat in no time. So even she cares about that kind of thing. Well, she is an athlete. But... Besides, I don't want anything sugary. Right now, I want a salty snack. Like potato chips? Like potato chips? Yeah! That's what I said! <sighs> like ramen. How is that a snack? You got it all wrong! Huh? How is it not? 
Speaking of which, what's our favorite kind of ramen? Show you, without a doubt. I have no idea what that it. is. Uh, good choice. Definitely the most refreshing option. What about you, Hina? You're worried about calories and all, so... Okay. I'm a pork-tastic tonkotsu girl through and through. Or you don't care about calories at all. <laughs> the key element of any tonkotsu ramen is the butter and the extra fat. It's balanced calories. <laughs> so you're okay with all that oil? Oh. Uh, talking about makes me even hungrier. Maybe it's time. Maybe I can make it to the dining hall. Are you sure, though? I mean, a bowl of ramen is way more calories than Jonah. What is this? Who says stuff like that? Are you a real man or aren't you? What? Are you afraid? Afraid of ramen? What? <laughs> You're pathetic, Makoto. I'm ashamed to know you. Are you still Hina? What the heck? Had... Just a second. Shut up. Get out of my way. I'm going to show you what a real man looks like. Or are you going to stand in my way and suffer the fist-based consequences? What? No, I have no intention of getting in your way. Okay. Then don't. I don't do this now. If I don't do this now, when am I ever going to get another chance? Crying out like starving ramen, Hina ran off at a dangerous clip toward the kitchen. When it comes to food, Hina is terrifying. Extraordinary focus. I learned my lesson and made my way back to my room. <laughs> what the hell just happened? Okay, night time. Okay. Day 14, holiday. So we just get to rest. Yes, indeed. Today's our weekly day off. Now then. Okay, dismissed. What would you like to do? Go meet with someone? Who should I talk to? Then. Yeah, how are we doing with everyone? Well, let's meet with Junko again. Hmm, are you unhappy with the results? Well, if you want, people like you better. Why don't you use a trip ticket? Well, uh, What would you like to do with Junko? We're going to use a trip ticket. Hmm. Let's go to Danny Hall this time. Here we are at the Danny Hall. This is the one place where we all spend a lot of time together. Hmm, what to do? For breakfast, Japanese style is the best. Want something to drink? Well, I'm starving. It's burger time. Um... Okay, just about a lot of fun for me. <gasps> or maybe a cappuccino. That latte art people do is seriously cute, right? I get the feeling she didn't have much fun. Oh, come on. Aww. Man, that was like super boring. I need to do something fun now, or this day's gonna be a total waste. Anyway, I'm out of here. I forgot to save. Oh well. Yeah, let's, let's go and meet with someone. And let's try again. Let's use trip ticket. Music room. Here we are in the music room. It feels like a room and more like full of music. Less like a room, more like a full of music car. It looks like nobody's here right now. What should we do? You think you'll ever release a CD? Uh, Want to try singing together with everyone? This feels good, doesn't it? Yeah. Hmm, you know, that does come up a lot. People wonder if I'm going to break out of modeling and go multi-industry. But I'm not sure if that's what I want. It might be straying a little too far from my dream. Although, talking about with you, maybe I kind of see it in a different light now. <laughs> maybe I'll give it my best shot. <laughs> anyway, if I do make my debut, cheer for me, okay? It looks to me like she had a really good time. <laughs> hmm. 
Man, I can't imagine any way today could have been more fun than it was. Ah, uh, it's been a long time since I felt this relaxed. And it's all thanks to you, Makoto. You're doing pretty good so far. Hmm. You know, if you think about it, us hanging out alone, just the two of us, kind of like a date, huh? All right. So then... Then let's get that feeling going and go back holding hands. Um, this is a school announcement. Now officially nighttime, blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm wondering if I should play this until Slay the Princess comes out. Because I don't want to start another day in Rampa game, which may take a really long time. And I think it's just coming out in a couple of months. Uh, so. <laughs> okay, then. Sweet dream. Hell yeah. Well, guess I have no choice but to show you how freaking serious I can get. Mono seems to be feeling pretty good. Okay, so. No one's up. Oh, no one needs some rest. So, here we go. What do we need? Um, we got lots of medicine. Um, we need more kitchen knives and recipe books. And what do we need for a gas burner? Ooh. How many more gas burners do we need? Six more. So, we need... Um, we need Bunsen burners. We got enough syringes, so Bunsen burners, kitchen knives, and recipe books. Okay. Let's save before I forget. Yeah, more recipe books. Good. And kitchen knives. Good. No more Bunsen burners? Ah, they leveled up. Okay, go meet with someone. Um, let's talk with Taka, because I know we got all those chin drills to get rid of. What would you like to do? Let's spend some time together. I forgot to save. Well, we know the chin drill's gonna work. Hmm. You know, sometimes what students need is a meeting of the soul. Would you like to study with me? Studying's fine. You always improve yourself. I took some time to study with Taka. As long as it's something you're interested in. Taka and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Taka a present? Yes. What would you like to give him? I'm sure any fruit food would have worked would work with everlasting bracelet. Hold on, I just want to see what this looks like. Cause that's a new one. A handcrafted item made with needle and thread. They say that. Once you put it on, it will never come off again. Ooh. Very popular with men these days. Mm, but to be honest, although it does attract the ladies, most guys hate the smell. <laughs> a G sick. What does that do? Most people consider a throwaway watch due to poor quality. Still, it enjoys massive popularity thanks to its low price. Antique doll. Let me just... A porcelain doll. Due to the exquisite craftsmanship of the doll and its clothing, many people still collect and prize them to this very day. What? What is this? Um... A little-known book about Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Ooh, that teaches high-level shoulder lock technique. Another word for sca scapula or shoulder blade. I know someone who'd like that. Uh, later. 
It, yeah, we got another one of those. The second button. Small light, what does that do? Common wisdom might make you think that shining this light on you will turn you small, but no. It's just that the light itself is about the size of a matchbox. Actually, I know who would like that. Yeah, let's just give one of these chin drills again. Because we know he likes it and I got too many. It can't be. Are you sure I could have such a sweaty gift? <laughs> Thank you so very much, Makoto. Seeing Takaso, please, something I gave him makes me mm. happy. I've been wanting to tell you something for a while now, Makoto. You hear me? And now that it's just the two of us, this is the perfect time to confess. Huh? <laughs> Listen, Makoto, your hoodie is awesome. The thanks? Mm. You have really amazing fashion sense. Now, wearing a hoodie under your school uniform, Yo! your public morals are ruined. Just absolutely ruined. Sorry, did I do something wrong? The dress code was perfectly flexible in my old school. You understand? Well, that's not the case here at Hope Street Academy. As long as I live, I will protect our morals. Take off that incredibly stylish hoodie this is in. Right now? That's enough! Of course! Crap, Taka seems to be taking this really seriously. Well, I better come with a good excuse or I might actually have to give him my hoodie. It's a makeshift hard hat, it, but it's a raincoat. It's a flashlight. Um, This hoodie doubles as a raincoat. I don't want to be caught by a surprise at thunderstorm. Just hold on. You can't fool me! Huh? You hear me? That hoodie would only protect your head. It's hardly a raincoat if it doesn't cover the rest of your body. My suggestion is get an umbrella. Good advice. You understand? Now take out that incredibly stylish hoodie this isn't. Okay, uh, yeah, uh. But it's a flashlight. It's a makeshift hard hat. But this is the next best thing to a hard hat. H hard hat? Of course, because safety. Well, I mean, this school's really dangerous, you know? There's no telling what might happen. So, like, just in case, you know? Hmm. Mm. You, you may have a point there. I do. I totally do. Hmm. Well, if it's for your own safety, I suppose I could give you special permission just this once. You hear me? But the instant this school goes back to normal, you will hand over that incredibly amazing hoodie. It incredibly, amazingly cool hoodie. <laughs> Whatever it is. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Students these days are utterly ignorant of proper dress code. It's quite pla quite a pain. And frankly, I don't understand youth fashion these days anyway. Listen to me. So this is a perfect opportunity for me to teach you all about how you should be dressing. Huh? Getting fashion advice from Taka is, well, let's just say unexpected. You understand? I wear this uniform 365 days a year, rain or shine, flood or drought, wind and hail and hurricane. Even on your days off? Even on holidays? Count on it. School itself may observe holidays, but there's no such thing as vacation for a student. So as long as I live the life of a student, I will always wear my uniform. I see. Hmm. Also, I have 10 sets of my uniform, so I always have a clean one. There's nothing strange about that. Oh, no. I'd say wearing your uniform when you're not at school is totally strange. I better keep that to myself, though. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, wearing the uniform every day helps you keep keep you motivated. You should give it a shot. Tack is exactly the kind of guy I thought he was. Yeah. Maximum number of skill points. After we were done, I decided to head back to my room for a while. All right, really check your materials here. Um, this is a... Mm. Okay, then. I wonder if I should cut this part out. It's no different. Wow, we really cleaned the place last time. Probably because Mondo was in Megamo. Hey there. Don't know why, but I'm feeling totally pumped. Jiggle seems to be feeling pretty good. Okay, good no. <laughs> Ooh, we got, we got some sandwiches. Yes. See ya. Okay. All right, who should we give it to? Uh, uh, it looks like nobody needs to rest today. What do we need, though? Uh, we need more kitchen knives, recipe books, and... Bunsen burners. Kitchen knives, so kitchen and where we get the Bunsen burners, which is where, um, 
Okay, so. Leave you guys to cleaning. Yay, Bunsen burners! Your recipe book. Come on, any kitchen knives? Yes, kitchen knife. What would you like to do? Go meet with someone, and this time we'll save before I do it. What would you like to do with Leon? Uh, I think I want to max out my report card here. Oh, yeah? Hey, were you worried about me or something? <laughs> Damn, that's actually kind of nice of you. Had a roaring good time with Leon. Roar! Oh, I only just got it. <laughs> Leon, I grow a little closer. Would you like to give? Yeah, um, let's see what we got. For me? Thanks! Does that mean he liked it? Huh? Hey, Makoto, I have something to tell you, but it's kind of a secret. Could you, uh, come to my room? Your room? Uh... Huh? Anyway, I'll be waiting. I wonder why Leon suddenly invited me to his room like that. I did what Leon asked and head to his room right away. Yo. Whoa! We didn't get to see his room! Cool! Welcome to the room of the future superstar! So what's up? You said you had a secret or something? Seems like... Well, okay, it's like... Let's do it! Let's play baseball! Kidding, just kidding. Kidding, kidding. That was a joke. Super joke. I hate baseball, remember? Huh. Uh. uh. Wait, it sounds like it wasn't a joke. Leon, do you want to start playing baseball again? Stupid. What are you talking about? Don't be stupid. How many times have I told you how much I totally hate baseball? Or, like, don't like it at all? Uh. Is mm. what I thought, but actually, this is the longest I've ever gone without playing, you know? I mean, I was so good, they forced me to play, like, all the time. And being away from the game so long has made you realize how you really feel. Hey, you bastard. Stockholm Syndrome with sports. Damn it, it's like mind control. Ra baseball brainwashed me. But fine, whatever. I just want to throw the ball around a little. But I can't play baseball by myself. <laughs> yeah, I never should have come to this school. Well, Leon. Hey, listen. If what's happening to us really is some kind of school event thing, then when it's over. You know what I mean. I think I'm going to drop out and go back to my old school. Maybe my team won't want me back, but all I can do is beg for their forgiveness and hope for the best. I don't think you have to worry about that. I'm sure they'll be happy to have you back. If you just show them how you really feel about baseball, how you're willing to go to practice and... What? Practice? I mean, seriously? Hell no, no way! I really, seriously hate practice. I don't need practice. I just want to play the game, even an exhibition game or whatever. Uh, oh. Well, I'm sure it'll all work out somehow. <laughs> yeah, they can't just drop someone as good as me. I'm sure they'll forgive me, no problem. I mean, it's me, right? I'm the up-and-coming Koshen Stadium Superstar. Hey, <laughs> you're gonna be there rude for me, right? I don't think he's learned his lesson, but still, I think it's impossible for me to hate him. He and I talked so much together, haven't finally met the real Leon. I think Leon and I have come to understand each other a lot better. Yeah. Oh, almost, almost famous. So I got... Kinetic Death Perception. I got all the... I filled up his... 
Uh, report card. We made a little more small talk, then went back to my room. <laughs> hey, Jiro. <laughs> I'm feeling extra upbeat today. Jiro seems to be feeling pretty good. I got nothing to help, right? Yeah, not for now. Oh, wait. Before we do this, let's see what we gotta do. Okay, we need one more kitchen knife and ten more recipe books. How are we doing on the gas burner? I think we only need one more. No, we need... Uh, damn it, we need five more. So, let's see how much we can make here. One, two, three, four. We need one more. So we need one more Bunsen burner, one more kitchen knife, and ten more recipe books. So kitchen and physics lab. Uh, some people are tired. Uh, so let's let them rest. Yeah, last Bunsen burner. Last kitchen knife, now just the recipe books we need. How many? How much did we get? Four more recipe books. Yay! What would you like to do? Let's go meet with someone. Okay, but first I'm saving and, you know, going to the bathroom and everything. I've just been playing on stop for like, I don't know, a couple hours? All right, let's take Junko out on another date. Yeah, I'm just, I, I want to focus on one, so more will happen. Um, try the library. Here we are at the library. It's pretty dusty, but I'll never see I've never seen a place so filled with books and other documents. Looks like nobody's here right now. What should we do? Should we spend some time studying? Reading sure is fun, huh? Just reading casually isn't enough, is it? <laughs> are you for real? I for real. I hate those guys who just skim through stuff and act like they totally to get it. They just run their mouth off like they're some kind of expert. Do something worthwhile yourself. When, then we can talk. Hmm. But you're not like them, are you? I'm glad. It looks to me like she had a really good time. <laughs> Man, I can't imagine any way today could have been more fun than it was. It's been a long time since I felt this relaxed. And it's all thanks to you, Makoto. You're doing pretty good so far. Mm. You know, if you think about it, us hanging out alone, just the two of us, is kind of like a date, huh? All right. So then, then... Let's keep that feeling going and go back holding hands. Ew, she's really into Makoto here. <laughs> It's gonna be a problem for the real Junko. <laughs> I know what I have to do, and I'm gonna do whatever it takes. Toko seems to be feeling pretty good. Oh, we got, we got stuff. Isn't that wonderful? Lunch mail, yes. See ya later. Well then, have a nice day. Look. <laughs> okay. Um. So, let's see. Ooh, we gotta boost some people's stuff. Uh, restores a little bit of HP. Okay, you're fine. You're fine. Uh, who should we give life back to? What do we have? Um, I don't think we need Bunsen burners anymore. Yeah, we just need the one. So now all we need are those recipe books. Wait, no, 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 I forgot. I, I forgot. Because Mikoto... And the rest need to.
You're all looking in the kitchen. We're cleaning. It's like one more recipe book need to be done. Let's go meet with someone. Hmm. Let's see. I think we have something that Sakura's gonna like. That martial arts book. Oh, but um, let's save. Even if I don't feel like talking, you'll still stand by me. I still don't understand you, Makoto. Now, say a word, I stood by Sakura. Sakura and I grew a little closer today. Yes. Would you like to give her? Okay. I remember there was that book about martial arts that she'd like. Also fresh bindings. What? Oh, are you sure I can have something so valuable? Makoto, I. So then. S since we're already we've already talked so much, it's okay to talk a little more, right? Seeing Sakura so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Hey. You know Makoto. There's something that's been concerning me. What? Hmm. This school has all kinds of exercise equipment, which is great. But I s it still doesn't offer everything I need to complete my training. I feel like I'm getting weaker by the day. Ugh. Am I supposed to just accept that? Accept my atro atro atrophy? 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 I, I can't do it. If something doesn't change, I'll, I'll... It's okay, Sakura. Just hang in there. I know how impatient you must feel, but you can't rush these things. But when you said it doesn't have everything you need to complete your training, what do you mean? Of course. Well, I can't say I'm a huge fan of modern training techniques, which rely mainly on machinery. That's good for building muscle mass, but that doesn't necessarily translate to actual strength. More muscle is better, of course, but you also need to know how to use it. And if you're not using it, pushing your muscles too hard can lead to injury. That's true. There are even some world-class wrestlers who only build muscle by climbing ropes and things like that. Mm. I mix martial arts, speed, agility, and endurance are all necessary parts of total body coordination. If that's your goal, you can't just focus on one aspect of your training. For example, kipping pull-ups can train one area, while power training equipment works multiple areas. Mm. Are you listening? Huh? Oh yeah, yes, absolutely, got it. <sighs> Weight-free training is an option, sure, but power training is a much greater challenge. I've had my own training method ever since I was a little child. Hey. For example, I take an old tire and hit it with everything I had. Are you listening? Yeah, totally. So then. So what did I say? What did I use to hit the, that tire I mentioned? What? Are you sure you said it? This sounds Stephanie. I don't want to think about what Sakura might do if I don't answer. What did she use to hit her tire? Um, I'm going to assume your fist? You hit it with, you know, your fist. <sighs> so you weren't listening. Didn't I say I prefer power train, which exercises the entire body? Oop. No, no, I was incident. Something that uses your entire body, right? Uh, I want to say, uh... A sword? Cut up with a sword? Wait, no, no, I no. I see. Your wish, wise not to speak. What? She really made mind something. You suck. Okay, you're talking about full body Rokau. What did she use? <laughs> I wasn't quite understanding the question. I think I heard stories about people using giant hammers for training like of that. Of course. Exactly. So, I've been doing that since childhood. It's extremely good for your core. But that kind of thing is impossible here. So in the end. And I can feel myself growing weaker. You have to endure it. Enduring this kind of thing is part of being strong, isn't it? Mm. Mm. I think. 
for now, I should focus on training my mind. Hmm. Hmm. You've taught me something today, Makoto. The importance of endurance. Well, I mean, I wouldn't call that teaching, per se. <laughs> Sorry for making you listen to me complain. But I feel better now. I can handle this. I'm glad I talked to you. I'll find a way to repay the favor. Sakura left, moving quickly for her size. So I guess I helped her? That's good. I'm glad to see she's starting to trust me a little more. After we were done, I decided to head back to my room for a while. Hell Anyone yeah. Pop? Yeah. Well, I guess I don't trust to show you how freaking serious I can get. He seems to be feeling pretty good. Alright. Do we have anything that can help people? Uh, lots of people need rest, so... Oh, I forgot to check uh, what we if what we need. We need recipe book. One more, and then we're done. What'd you like to do? Let's go meet with someone. Hmm. All right, I think I know. I want to talk to Kirigiri again, cause I want to see how the flashlight works. Yeah, just check our stats real quick. Now then. Well. Yeah, we're gonna spend some time together. It's true. I was just about to head to the dining hall to get something to drink. <laughs> Did you want to come with me? Yeah. We went to the dining hall and drank some tea with Kyoko. Kyoko and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give? Yes, definitely. I'd like to give her. I like to give her. What's a bird seed do? Okay, seriously, what is that all about? Can I just read it? A loincloth meant to emphasize one's manliness. Simple design. Okay. Seriously, who would like that? Who would like the tumbleweed? What that's what's that all about? Wait, what does this do? A phone that, for some unknown reason, doesn't let you hear the person on the air and doesn't let them hear you. Okay, so would this work? Correct. Are you sure about this? Sorry. Does that mean she liked it? Oh, Kyoko. How do you stay so calm, Kyoko? Uh, that's the wrong name there. What? Calm? I mean, you never lose your cool. You never show emotion. <laughs> you say that like I'm some kind of inhuman beast. N no, I don't. didn't mean it like that. Hey. Well, I am human. I do have emotions. I simply keep it to myself. I don't show it in my face or in my voice. 
You make it sound that sound way easier than it is, especially in these kind of circumstances. That's what we have to do. Well, you should consider trying. Your naive honesty makes you an easy target. She keeps saying things like that. It's kind of irritating. Isn't there anything I can say to get a reaction out of her? In other words. Ah! That, those words again. Protect against deception and never allow others to read your emotions. Never stands before you. Don't let them push you Correct. around. Remember that. And that's why you hide your feelings. But, but that's such a waste. What? Hmm? Your smile is just so cute. Hiding it behind that mask is such a waste. A bright white smile is way better. That's... What are you talking about? What? Oh my gosh, she's blushing. C cute? It's much too soon to bring up things like that. Ah, looks like I got you to show a hint of emotion, didn't I? What? What? You, Makoto, you... It can't be. You deceive me? Oh, oh no. <laughs> you took the wrong way. Huh? Wait. Why? I don't believe this. To use the word cute to deceive someone. That's just too cruel. She really doesn't trust me. Sorry, I just got carried away. But still, I did deceive you, but it's not like it was a total lie. <sighs> you see how easily you, are, you yourself are deceived. Oh. Huh? Hey. You would never just come out and call someone cute like that, completely out of character. You thought I wouldn't pick up on such an obvious ploy. What you mean? I thought I tricked you, but I was the one getting tricked? <laughs> Watch yourself, Nakoto. You're honest to a fault. With that, she was gone. Most formidable opponent. Neural liberation. With Kyoko gone, I slowly made my way back to my own room. Yeah, yeah, we get it. So today's the day, huh? I guess I better review everything one more time. Oh, concept was cooking monokuma, right? Okay, so we got everything. Let's construct. Hey, what Come is that? Now. Aren't you guys all underage? Oh, <laughs> I get it. It's a bartender. It's true. Drinking is absolutely out of the question. If I find out you've been hitting the sauce, total devastation. Of course. You better believe this was rejected. Rejected, rejected, rejected. It's a total failure, but you did technically finish your assignment, so. What are you gonna do? I guess I'll give you some more tickets. You receive eight trip tickets. So the next concept is. Ta da! Moe, Moe, Kuma. Oh no. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Let's do it. Yeah, I feel like I could do anything. Leon seems to feel pretty good. All right, so we finished that. And we're still going. Do you have anything that... No one's passed out, so... What do we need? Okay, we got enough bandages. We need pen lights, paint, and secret book of poems. Um... Oh, wait, how do we make the secret book of poems? We need music scores. We got lots of marbles. Paint, watercolor paints, and tree branches. So we got a lot of paints. We need tree branches. Okay, um. Just hang on. You need paints, secret book of poems. What about pen light? So we need tree branches and music scores. No, I'm catching, I'm checking it now. Don't use the marbles. Now everyone's charged. Okay, we're looking for pre tree branches and... I assume that's where the music score stuff is. Okay, um, let me... Music score... And tree branch, wherever that might be. Probably in the garden. 
All right, let's begin. There we go. I knew tree branches would be in the... And we got music score. Mm-hmm. Oh, where'd we find the pen light? I, I forgot about the pen lights. Wow, that was a lot in one in just one round there. Let's go meet with someone. Mm-hmm. Uh let's talk to Celeste again. Would you like to do? Let's spend some time together. This is fine. Well then, should we have a bit of conversation? <laughs> ah, but don't misunderstand. I have no affection for you on a personal level. Spend some time with Celeste. Celeste and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to... Yes? What would you like to give her? Well, I know the pants. I know she likes the pants, so. No, thank you. I'm the type of person who cannot decline a gift. So I have no choice but to accept this, but I want to stress it is only because of my sense of duty. Does that mean she liked it? <sighs> Celestia Ludenberg. Celestia Ludenberg. What are you doing? <laughs> no matter how many times I hear it, I never tire of hearing my own name. Because it's not really your name. Isn't it so splendidly charming? Oh yeah, I've been wondering about that. Why that name? Well. Why? I mean, is it from something? Why'd you pick it? <laughs> I did not pick it. My name was given to me by my mother and father. Liar. Come on, that can't be your real name, can this it? It's fine. It is indeed my real name. Make no mistakes about that. Right. Okay, so your parents gave you that name. Indeed. That's right. My father is French nobility, and my mother is part of a German family of musicians. There's no way that's true. Yeah, that can't be true. But, okay, so you were born in France or Germany? <laughs> Tochigi. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> I was born in the capital of Tochigi, which is known for its delicious gyoza. Do you know of which city I speak? So it's capital of Chichi. It's famous for its... Uh, I have no idea. I want to say Achikaga? Um, no. Huh, does it mean I'm wrong? Let's see. You must excuse me. I simply wasn't anticipating an answer like that. Any elementary school child knows what the capital of Chichi is, so naturally... Not in this state! <laughs> I don't know what Chichi is. Ah. Uh, I want to say Nico. Uh, no, it's the last well. one. Well. Huh? Am I right? Indeed. Nico is certainly one of the most beautiful parts of Tortigi. This is true. So it's no surprise we'll leave a lasting impression on you. <sighs> but to think you would consider that an appropriate answer to my question. Simply appalling. You should stop talking. Uh, I don't know this. I don't know my... I sadly don't know my East Asian geography. Or, actually, most Asian geography. It's Utsunomiya, right? Oh. That is correct. You have proven you are roughly as intelligent as an elementary school student. Or a high schooler, maybe? Actually. You may be surprised to learn that I absolutely adore gyoza. I love its stench, its base vulgarity. <sighs> so, as you may imagine, I'm quite disappointed that I will never taste my hometown's gyoza again. Never say never, you know, once we get out of here. Is that okay? We will never get out of here. How long will you continue with this ridiculousness? You should give up. Do you understand? If you don't, it can only lead to murder. Celeste's eerie words stuck with me long after she left. The more I talk to her, the more I just don't understand her. All right. Skill raise. Okay. When you find my... Okay. Oh. Well, something about earning mana coins. Well, now I can't find any more because I... 
Uh, holiday, so we're just gonna hang around. Yes, indeed. Today is our weekly day off. Now then. Okay, dismissed. Go meet with someone. Yeah, we're just gonna focus all our energy here. Let's try the rec room again. All right. Want to check out the fashion magazines? Is that a slot machine back here? Do you know they have any video games? What? Um, not really. It's not like I need to know how to dress nice. Huh? But you go, aren't you a model? <gasps> oh, yeah, I am. It's see. I mean, I'm the one setting the trends, right? So, like, why would I need to look at a magazine? Are you for real? Or, uh, Mikado, stop underestimating the ultimate fashionista. I got the feeling she didn't have much fun. Oh, I forgot to save. Oh, well. Aww. Man, that was, like, super boring. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm out of here. I'm doing bit terrible at this. Would <laughs> you, like, go meet with someone? Let's save this time. I haven't saved for two days? Jeez. I'm just so wrapped up in this game, I forgot. Okay, let's... Can we spend time together? What happens if... You do it without the free time events? Do we just hang out? Hmm. Yeah, I'm bored too. Yeah. Let's chill for a while. Spend some time with Junko. Junko and I grew a little closer today. Would you like... To... Yes. Would you like to give her? Would she like this? For real? Damn, Akata, you got pretty good taste. Does that mean she liked it? I guess nothing much happens. Uh, well, I wanted to find out. Okay, then. So now we know. I guess if we've finished all the events, then nothing else happens after you give them a gift. So let's just... Okay. Let's see, who could use a boost? Do we need? Okay, uh, how many of those do we need? Six more. Okay, and how about the paints? Just one? Okay, so we need paints. We need the trees. And... We need the music. Yay, music score. And we got a couple tree branches. Go meet with someone, and we'll save this time.
let's see. I think we maybe need one or two more events with Asahina to fill it up. Spend some time together. <laughs> okay, you want to go for a walk? I don't care where to. Yeah, we're going for a walk. Yeah, we walked aimlessly around the school. All right. Yes. Okay, she likes food. So maybe... If we give her some... What is this? <laughs> Makoto, it's like you read my mind. Does that mean she liked it? Ugh, <sighs> uh, this sucks. Huh? What happened to her? She seemed way more depressed than usual. Hey, Hina, what's um... wrong? Oh, well, I tried to convince myself I was imagining it, but I totally wasn't imagining it. Imagining what? I'm sick of this. I, I got fat. No, you didn't. You're, you're beautiful. I figured. Uh -huh. I'm so fat. Fat from every angle. No, you're not. I hate this. I hate it. I may as well just accept it and embrace my new big fat fatty attitude. You're not fat. You're gorgeous and curvy, just like me. Well, the latter one, anyway. But what if I just keep getting fatter and fatter and fatter and never stop? I'm sick of this. I just get disgustingly, morbidly obese, and then nobody wants to marry me. Which makes me depressed and I get even fatter. Eventually I can't even stand up on my own. And then I die, sad and alone. Nobody knows this. I finally lose weight, but my body starts to rot. Okay. Should I put a trigger warning about eating disorders here? I think maybe you're worrying a little too much. Besides, as far as I can tell, you look exactly the same. What the heck? You're just saying that. I'm a total chum monster. I'm a perfect circle. No, more like an hourglass. No, seriously, I'm not just saying that. Hmm. Then, I'm still hot? You're cute and adorable. Well, I mean, uh, yeah. Um... Really? Then I might still make it out alive? Uh, yeah, I'm sure you'll make it out alive. <laughs> thank God. Seriously, thank God. Okay. But I can't relax now. I'm making an official statement. As of right now, I owe it. Aoi Asahina is on a diet. A diet? You got it. Just you watch. I'm going to go get so thin, I'll scare the crap out of you. Not a good, healthy way. Well, don't overdo it, okay. okay? Don't try and stop me. I've made up my mind. And my willpower is rock hard. And now my resolve is even more rock hard. You got it. Before that, time to get stuff done, donuts. Yeah. Oh, of course she was done talking. He had took off like a bat out of hell. I'm not sure if dieting is really in his skills. I mean, she, she has such a good figure. It's... Hey, all the swimming balances it out, all out. Once we're done, head back to my room. I feel as if... I feel like I'm not my usual self, perhaps because I travel to a parallel world to re-energize. Fumi seems to feel pretty good. Any gifts? <laughs> yes! Bonus! Isn't that wonderful? See ya! Could boost someone's cleaning stats. Um. Uh, some people are tired. Whose cleaning levels should be raised? Uh. Okay, we need four more of those. We need lots of paint stuff. Okay, so we need tree branches and we need the music scores in order to finish this. We got a lot of tree branches, yay. 10, 11 tree branches. All right, we're gonna go meet with someone. This might be repetitive for some people, but I'm actually having a lot of fun here. Okay, if you see my curtains going around, it's because I have a cat in here. <laughs> now then.
Well? Uh, maybe we'll talk to you. Yeah, we're gonna spend some time together. Huh? Huh? You mean just the two of us? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm a little nervous, though. By the way, you'll find it interesting how they do put them in the boy section there. I spent some time with Jiro, even though they seemed a little kind of embarrassed. Here we go closer. And yeah, we'll give them a gift. Something electrical. Um, tips and ch tips and tips for what? Thick book as hints and codes for every game ever released. Ooh. Huh? Ah, uh, a present? <laughs> Yay! Thank you so much. Yeah, t for for the coding and all that. <laughs> Seeing Tiro so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Um. Um. If you don't hate the idea, would you like to talk some more? Geez, if there's anyone who could say no to someone and ask like that, I'd like to meet him. Sure, I'd love to know more about you. Mm. Okay, but what do you want to know? <laughs> well, let's see. What kind of program are you working on now? That's pretty amazing. You know? Oh, actually, I just started the research process for something. Alter Ego, you remember that database software I told you about? I'm retooling it into something a little more complex. But I signed an NDA with the company that hired me, so I can't really go into details. Yeah, they probably won't want the wrong people to hear about it, huh? A non-disclosure oh, agreement. I'm sorry. It's not that I don't trust you anything. I just made a promise, you know? Sorry. No, it's okay. It's my fault for asking about something you couldn't talk about. Mm. Oh, but maybe I could give you a little hint. Alter Ego, it has to do with st simulating human thoughts. She said it has to do with simulating human thoughts. What? Right, which you see virtual reality, artificial intelligence. You're developing some kind of artificial intelligence, aren't you? Ah, uh, uh, you figured it out! Was my hint too easy? What should I do? Uh, what am I gonna do? If they find out I broke my promise, they might... Don't worry, I'm not gonna say anything to anyone. Um... Yeah, I know. I know I can trust you. Okay, I guess I could tell you about it. You know? I'm working on a type of artificial intelligence the world's never seen before. Alter Ego. It's what we call a strong AI. It's designed to think like a human to process any mental task we can. A strong AI? Um... You see, in the field of artificial intelligence, there's strong AI and weak AI. Weak AI isn't meant to have much in human intelligence. It's simply a type of problem-solving software. A weak AI isn't actually thinking. It's just executing actions programmed into it. Strong AI, on the other hand, is a program that can achieve true self-consciousness. Full ego awareness. Alter ego! Mm. In other words, a strong AI... In other words! A strong AI is a complete entity, a computer program capable of becoming aware. But it's always just been a hypothesis. Plenty of experts don't think it's even possible. Sounds like something from a sci-fi movie. And you're working on something like that? But... Well, I said, right now I'm just researching it. I made lots of progress on the programming side and the intelligence development. Mm. But when it comes to actual awareness, it's still a long way off. It might even be possible. Really? You know? I'm not sure how to put it, but... No matter how well designed or complex a program is, no matter how closely the software can simulate the workings of the human brain, I don't think that's enough. If the program is only simulating thought, it will always be lacking something. Lacking? Yeah. Well, I guess you could say a soul. If you could somehow pour your own soul into the software, maybe then a strong AI would be created. Could be created. Wait, a soul? Mm. Yeah, I know. It's not a programming term. It's not even... I'm not even sure how that would work on a technical level. 
So sorry, I forget I mentioned it. Well, your soul ends up kind of going into an AI. You know? Anyway, all I have right now is a theory. There's still lots of research left to do. Artificial intelligence sounds like a pretty tough subject, but I'm glad to hear about it. Um... I wasted your time on another boring topic. I must have bored you to death, huh? No, the complete opposite. It was really interesting. Huh? You mean it? Yay! Okay, next time we talk, I want to hear about you. Oh, well, unlike you, I am really am boring. <laughs> no excuses. It's your turn next time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Oh, they're just so cute. When they say it like that, I think the only way to refuse is if you're one of those soulless AI programs she mentioned. They mentioned. Ghostface Skilla. Ah, so we got... Uh, report card. Or did we just get, like, the maximum number of points? <sighs> Once we are all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Bye, kitty. And... And she's heading back to her room for a little while, which is the entire house. <laughs> I'm gonna give it everything I've got today so we can all get out of here together. Sayaka seems to be feeling pretty good. Alright. Ugh. Okay, so, so your book of poems. Just one? How many more do we need? Three more. So we got enough marbles for that. Okay, so we're gonna need more watercolor paints. For that. How many? Do we have enough trees? Four. No, we need more tree stuff as well. Got enough marbles, need more musical scores. Good, more watercolors, we need those. Go meet with someone. Hmm, who should we talk to? Okay, uh, ooh, let's save. What would you like to do? We're spend some time together. So then. I just got done exercising. Now would be a good time for a break. Would you like to get something to drink and talk for a bit? Sakura and I sit down for tea in a calm, relaxing conversation. Sakura and I grew a little closer today. Would you like? Yes. Where is that book? There we go. Secrets of Omoplata. What? Oh, are you sure I can have something so valuable? Makoto, why? Makoto, why? So then. Since we've already talked so much, it's okay to talk a little more, right? Seeing Sakura so pleased is something I gave her makes me happy. Hey. Hmm, I suppose I could share this with you. Huh? Share what? Huh. The story of the man who is stronger than even me. What? Hmm. I've never told anyone about this before, but I think I could tell you. Wow, so there's something, someone out there even stronger than you? Hmm. The truth is, I have a lifelong rival. He only fights in underground tournaments, which is why nobody knows about him. But he is truly the strongest man on the planet. I faced him in battle after battle and lost every time. He's that strong? However... These days, fighting has become its own science, in a way. People study it, it evolved, and eventually it was established as a formal sport. 
The idea of being invincible disappeared. Whoever develops the next great technique becomes the best. Well. But even in this modern era, he never used that kind of scientific approach. His only teacher is real combat. He laughs in the face of combat swords. No one can come close to him. Martial arts relies on a certain amount of luck. A lucky punch, a misstep can decide who wins. But none of that matters to him. He never loses. There's no strategy that can beat him. Many have studied him. All have lost. Is this guy really human? Mm. His name is Kenshiro. As he described it to me, he inherited what he called the ancient assassination art. Assassination art sounds super dangerous. Well. And the story doesn't end there. Will you hear what I have to say and not laugh? Well, laugh? Why would I laugh? <gasps> Just look it at your face! I can't tell you laugh! Huh? So in the end... Please, give me some more time. I need to gather my thoughts. But but I'm sorry. Please, try to understand. Even I, I too had the heart of a woman. She refused to say any more and left me standing there. The heart of a woman? Were you in love with the guy? Tranquility. Feeling generally confused, I went back to my room. Ooh, what'd I get? More lunch milk. See ya. Alright, who could use some? What do we got? Okay, so we need one more. Okay, we need more watercolors. Ah, I got some leveled up there. Let's head to Biakia, actually. We haven't talked to him in a while. Wherever he may be. Ah, uh, there he is. What would you like to do with Biakia? Spend time together? What? Do you intend to follow me wherever I go? Gods grant me patience. I refuse to get discouraged and spend time with Biakia. Biakia and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Biakia a present? Yes. Alright, so... I believe it was, there was the crystal skull thing he liked. Yeah. I see. Now this is a rare moment. Coming from a noble family, I've never been exposed to such vulgarity. Interesting. I think I'll keep it. See, Miyaki, so please with something I gave him makes me happy. Hmm. Listen, Mikoto, I wanted to ask you something. What could Miyaka want to talk to me about? I have a bad feeling about this. Uh, Star Q Star Wars. Oh, I'm sure what's up. Hmm. You know, only a chosen few, perhaps 1% of us, are able to succeed in life. So, in other words... Mm -hmm. For the other 99%, their dreams never come true. Some never even have a dream in the first place. Spending every waking hour to toiling to scrap together a meager living, just barely getting by. What? I just don't understand. Is there any meaning to a life like that? Why are you asking me? 
because your life is so meager. You're part of that 99%, of course. Why do you even feel the need to ask? I knew he was going to insult me somehow. <laughs> Up until now, I've never been around anyone like that, so I'm interested. So tell me, how does it feel to live a life without hopes, without potential or ambition or dreams? He always lives with hope. C come on! I don't have ambition or dreams. I've never felt that way about myself. I mean, sure, maybe I'll never be as rich as you or anything, but... Do you have to go around saying that to everyone? Can you only be happy by being better than others? <laughs> your complaints are as old and tired as a third-rate pop song from any generation. You're... So in other words, you're boring. And yet, those are the words of the 99%. That is how you find comfort in your tiny, cold little world. Stop saying stuff like that. <laughs> Sorry, I cannot. I can't not speak the truth. No matter how much you push and struggle, people like you will never be in a position to change the world. You could all disappear tomorrow and nothing would change. Your existence is of no consequence. Jeez, whether that's true or not, doesn't matter. Even if you live a totally normal, unimportant life, you can still find happiness in that. It's a Buddhist concept. If I can live a life that I'm satisfied with, that's all that matters. If I spent all my life comparing my life to other people's, I'd never be happy. Sure, maybe you could do that. You were guaranteed success from the day you were born, so... What? Hold it. From the day I was born? You have no idea. Ooh, you don't have a clue what you're talking about. What? What? Those who are chosen from birth have no concept of what that truly means. I have gone to battle and emerged victorious. That is why I meant the chosen. What are you talking about? You're spoiled, all of you, running away into a world of self-indulgence. Battle, competition, rivalry, you run away from it all. That is why the 99% walk the path that they do. Such ignorance. Good God, your absolute lack of understanding makes me want to weep. After showing a surprising amount of motion, Byakya quickly made his exit. What the heck got into him? He was acting totally normal up until... Until I said something about being guaranteed success from the day he was born. I wonder why that set him off. Because he wasn't born with it. Envious influence. Cool. I couldn't stop thinking about Byakya while I went back to my room. What'd I get? Isn't that clean maestro? Ooh. See ya later. Okay, anyone we can Ooh, a lot of people are tired there. Okay, what do we got? Okay, we don't need any more poems, so let's look at the paint. How many more mirror paints do we need? Just two more, and then we're done. So we need two more. So we need Three more watercolor paints at least. Let's make some food while we're at it. Let's revive some people. Um, okay, so we just need the watercolors. Yes, we got enough paint. <coughs> Level up. <coughs> Let's go meet with someone.
And this time we saved. Yeah, we're in the music room. Okay, wanna do some karaoke? Mm. For real? Yeah, let's do it. I'm pretty good actually. So even if you totally can't sing, I'll cover for you. <gasps> but wherever we go, better than the most popular, better have the most popular stuff. That's all I really know. I think we both had a pretty good time. Yeah. Hmm. Hanging out with you isn't so bad. I thought it'd be way more boring. <laughs> We're gonna have even more fun next time, right? <gasps> kidding, kidding. Did I set the hurl too high? Sorry. Don't worry. I don't have any expectations. Feel free to come say hi again sometime. Okay, you wanna head back? Okay, setting in that cleaning bar reasonably high. So today's day, huh? I guess I better review everything one more time. Okay, so... Did we get enough paint? That's... Yes! We got everything. Hmm? Uh, this is Moet's Tinkerbell. <laughs> hmm. It's got a certain cuteness, I guess, but... But something about it is off. It's wrong. Yes, indeed. So, do it over. It's a total failure, but you didn't take any fish your side. What are you so gonna do? I guess I'll give you some more tickets. Eight trip tickets. So, the next concept is... Monokuma Adult. Ah! Right here! Interesting. <laughs> it's important for us to cherish each day and create a string of valuable memories. Sakura seems to be feeling pretty good. <laughs> oh, more stuff. Isn't that wonderful? Mm -hmm. See ya later! Well, nobody's passed out yet, so... See, what do we need? Let's pay attention. Greek statue, uh huh. Step, we got lot, plenty of step ladders. We need syringes, power saw, say the skill cheating. We need, well, we got plenty of tambourines. We just need cardboards, power saw. How many do we need? Okay. Remind me, okay. Uh, what we need for Greek statue? Need more aluminum cans. Okay, so. We need 10 power saws, damn it. Okay, this is a lot. Okay, power saws. We need tree branches. Okay, we, we got enough metal plates and screw, screwdrivers. So, tree branches. What was the other thing? Uh, Greek statue and stainless steel sheeting cardboard and some aluminum cans aluminum cans cardboard there we go we found the cardboard and lots of syringes What do we get? We got lots of cardboard. Okay. We'll need more syringes. Let's go meet with someone. Uh, remember to save, girl. Hmm. 
See if we can finish off with her. Well then. You know, Makoto, you seem a little thin for a man. Gee, thanks. How about I help you bulk up a bit? Sakura subjected me to a harsh, borderline cruel training session. And we grew a little closer. Yeah. Let's give you another one of those books. I've been looking everywhere for this. How did you know? Huh. Let me give you another copy. You're quite a mysterious man, Nokoto. Seeing Sakura so pleased with something gave her makes me happy. Hey. So, have you decided? Decided what? Huh. Decided not to laugh at my story? We won't laugh. Oh, you're talking about Kinshiro? I mean, I honestly don't know what there is to laugh at. So then. Then join me in my room and I will continue my story. Just the two of us. Just the two of us in her room? We'll finally see what your room looks like. Sakura practically dragged me to her room. Ooh! Sakura's room is pretty much exactly how I would have imagined it. But hanging out in a girl's room, just us, getting kind of nervous. And it being Sakura makes me nervous for a whole other reason, yeah. Hey! Is there a reason you're glancing around? Oh, so sorry. Well, then. Anyway, I shall continue my story. Oh, yeah, the one with only Kenshiro. That's right, my lifelong rival, and... <coughs> My, my first love. Ah, I knew it. First love. Ugh. Did you just laugh? No, I definitely didn't. I mean, it's pretty surprising and all, but you made the choice to tell me the story. So of course I'm not going to laugh. I would never. I'm, I'm ashamed of myself. I underestimated you. I'm sorry. I beg your forgiveness, Makoto. No, that's not totally not necessary. Mm. I just didn't want to be laughed at. Can you imagine a girl like me using the word love? Well, you know, that's possible for Hina. So in the end... And being shy about saying it is even more girly, right? I creep myself out, to be honest. You know, everyone has a heart, but you are a girl. You're allowed to have a feminine side. Well. But my goal is to become the strongest warrior on the planet. Baby, but you don't have to be manly to find that kind of strength. True. Ugh. Ugh. Huh? Are you okay? Mm. Yes, I just... You made me remember something. Kachira once said something very similar. I'd forgotten about that. Hmm. But there's no point in recalling his words now. I really am a girl, still dragging his words with me like a chain around my neck. Huh? What do you mean? He might already be gone. Right now, Kachira is... Huh. He's fighting. Oh, jeez, I thought you were gonna say... Well... He's fighting an illness. Oh. Huh? Hmm. When they found out, they said he only had six months to live. But six months has come and gone, and he's still fighting. That's just how he is. He would never let a disease beat him. He has to get better. He's the strongest human alive. I admit that. No, I believe that. Sakura. Huh. I visited him once. He's lost so much weight. He looked like an entirely different person. But you know what he said? He told me that now I was the strongest human alive. That I had taken the title. Oh, God. He said he'd return someday to get the title back. He said I'd better not let anyone else take it. However... He didn't let me say that last part. I'll never forgive out, give out that title. Not until he gets better. And when that day comes, I will defeat Kachira and earn that title for real. And that's why I have to get stronger. I had no idea. Jeez. Mm. That's my biggest reason for becoming the strongest human alive. I'm sorry for wasting your time with such a long-winded story. Well. I'm not even sure why I told you. I think that somehow you remind me of him. Huh? Me? Hmm. Well, in certain ways. Your build is obviously different, but you both have a strong core. Strong core? No, I... Big heart. <laughs> you don't have to be modest. I know strength when I see it. Okay. Okay. I feel like I'm coming to understand Sakura so much better. I think maybe we've finally become friends in the truest sense of the word. Love sport! Achievement unlocked! So, we've gotten... Talk for a little while longer, then went back to my room. We've 
We've done all the events with Sakura. Yes, indeed. Today's our weekly day off. Now then. Okay, dismissed. All right, go meet with someone. Yes, and save before you do it. Uh, let's see if we can get... I think maybe we have one more event with Hina. What would you like to do with Hina? Spend time together? You got it! You wanna do some stretches with me? I follow Hina's lead and did some elaborate stretching. Hina and I grew a little closer. Yeah. And... This is why I like you, Makoto. Yeah, oh. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because we know you love Sakura more. Um. Hey, Makoto, can I talk to you for a sec? What's up? Hmm. I wanted to ask you something. Sure, what is it? Well... Oh, um... I mean... So, um... C can you just come to my room when you get a chance? Right here is like... Okay, so when we get to the final event, we go to the room. Huh? Okay. Okay, see you later. Better not standing me up. Well, maybe not all of them. Without bothering to wait for a response, Hina ran off. What's going on with her? Inviting me in a room like this? She's acting really strange. Well, I don't have much of a choice, do I? Yes, you do. You can say no. No is an option. Head to Hina's room like she asked. Woo! Me likey her room. Hmm. Um. Sorry. Sorry for making you have to come here. Oh, I don't mind, but what's going on? Um. I just wanted to ask you something. Will you promise to give me a real answer? Sure. Well... What do you th think about me? Ooh. Huh? I mean, in another universe, we end up having your baby. With two other people, but... <laughs> I mean, as a woman... Well, you know what I think, Hina? You are just gorgeous and bubbly and so enthusiastic. She's probably the kind of girl I'd want to date. What do I think? Hmm. What I'm trying to say is... Um... Do I have, you know, womanly charms? Girl, you have at least two womanly charms. Oh god, I really went there. Well, I mean... Wait, where's all this coming from? People have always told me how I'm not ladylike, but you're gorgeous. And I mean, I can't really disagree. All I'm good at is sports, exercise, physical stuff. But I think maybe that's just because I've never actually been in love. What about Sakura? Since I never fall in love, how can I say I'm a woman? Joe, girl. That's not what makes a woman. So that's why I'm... Um... I want you to be my boyfriend. Oh my god! She just went straight for it! Uh... Oh. No, I mean, not like my real boyfriend. Just like a practice run. Practice run? Because, I mean... I'm not a woman because I've never been in love. And I can't fall in love because I'm not a woman. It's like a vicious cycle, you know? Okay. What? So my strategy is I'll do a practice run to draw out my feminine side. That's w That way I'll be in the perfect position to fall in love. 
So I'm asking you, begging you to help me practice and pretend to be my boyfriend. But I mean, seriously? But... You're the only one I can ask, Makoto. I mean, how many other guy friends do I have? <laughs> Ifumi would be weird about it. Um, Hagakure would be weird about the whole future thing. Byaki is a dummy. Um, Chihiro... Well, Chihiro's got... Identity issues. <laughs> uh, Mondo... I, she might be intimidated. Taka's a bit strict on the rules. Did I leave anyone out? Please. Please. I'm on hands and knees here. I won't even take that long. He just is really serious about this. Fine. I guess I can help for a little while. <laughs> you mean it? All right. So what am I supposed to do? Hmm. So, uh, good question. Um. <laughs> well, whatever. Let's just get started. Whatever. Okay. Okay, here we go. Um... Oh, darling, you're home. Are you ready for dinner, or should I get a bath going? What? <laughs> Wait, Hina, that's more like a stereotypical 1950s married couple than anything. Huh? Oh, different approach then? Hmm. Well, I'm scared. That's terrible. You lied to me. You said you left your wife. <laughs> that's even worse. <laughs> huh? Really? No way! You mean I can't even get a practice run right? Oh, no, 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 honey. Was that the fatal blow? Huh? Seriously, what am I supposed to do? Just become that one crazy lady who gives up on love? Oh, hold on, let's dial it back. First of all, do you really need to go through all this practice stuff? Because, I mean... I told you, I'm not ladylike. Even if that's true, I'd say that's just part of your charm. Huh? Yeah. If you push it and get all nervous, that's totally not you, right? Personally, I think you're fine just the way you are, because, I mean, that's who you are. Huh? Makoto. And falling in love is supposed to be fun, right? If you stress out about it, where's the fun in that? I mean, not that I know anything about love either, so maybe that doesn't mean anything. Um... No, it does. If it's you saying it, it does mean something. Maybe you're right. I shouldn't push it. I should just be me. You got it! I just have to wait until I meet the right person. Like Jason Statham! You have very specific tastes. I think you'll be waiting a while on that one. <laughs> anyway, thanks, Makoto. You've definitely helped lift that weight off my chest. And on top of that, I kind of had fun practicing with you. I might ask you to help me again someday. I don't know, I think that's enough practice for me. Yeah! Oh, really? <laughs> then, if it wasn't practice... Huh? <laughs> Kidding! I'm just jerking you around. A joke, huh? Well, a joke or not, I definitely feel like I've gotten a lot closer to Hina. After going through all this with her, I think I understand her a lot better. Then we finally become friends in the true sense of the word. Mm. So, what's your type, huh? What kind of girls are you into? Kirigiri? Or Sayaka? Well, we know Makoto definitely had a thing for Sayaka before... Blah. Huh? Don't worry about it. Aw, <laughs> oh, come on, don't get embarrassed. <laughs> Especially with how Hina ends up in the anime series, you know, after this whole killing game thing. She really becomes like a big sister to Makoto. <laughs> Mystic Donut. Just unlocked the skill ambidextrous. You're unlocking all the achievements today. He and I got fired up about love more about love that more fired up about love than I expected, and then went back to my room. Who needs a boy when I've got you? What would you like to do? Let's go meet with someone. Speaking of girls we're romancing. Hmm. Well, I just, you know. I want to do more with Junko, because, well, Mukuro Junko, because uh, she's the one we learned the least about, I think. Alright. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the dining hall. And let's get this right. Oh, I forgot to press this, put save. Well, you're at the dining hall. One place to spend a lot of time together. What to do? Do you have a lot of fans? Let's make lunch and go eat somewhere. Is there some kind of trick to make up? Well, I mean... And... Why are you even asking me? Are you trying to say I wear too much makeup? 
Crap, I don't think things went very well at all. Oh, shit. Ugh, great, that was terrible. Aww. <sighs> what a waste of time. You don't need to bother asking me to hang out again. See ya. Damn. Well, that was terrible. <laughs> I'm feeling extra upbeat today. Cheers seems to be feeling pretty good. <laughs> Ooh, what do we got? Isn't that wonderful? A sandwich. See ya. Who needs a boost? Everyone's well rested, so this will be. F no, we we'll need a rest. Okay, but let's focus. What do we got? We need more syringes. Need more cardboard. Got cardboard. Syringe, good. Tree branches, yes. Ooh, leveled up on some of them. Again with you go. And let's save this time. Okay, so mentioning fashion might not be a good idea. Here we are. Okay, uh, don't they have any video games? Is that a slot machine back there? Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Pretty crappy service around here, huh? Even like one FPS would be enough for me. FPS? Seriously? Huh? You don't know what an FPS is? Totally. Are you one of those people who gets sick looking at 3D games? You'll get used to it, you know. Just try it. I'm not really sure what you're talking about. It looks to me like she had a really good time. So she does know video games. <laughs> Man, I can't imagine that anyway. Today could have been more fun than it was. Yeah, it's been a long time since I felt this relaxed. Blah, blah, blah. You're doing pretty good so mm. far. Yeah, they're All on right. a date. How are you? Hmm, my intuition is very strong today and it is telling me this will be a wonderful day. So that seems you're feeling pretty good. Four days left to do this, so. Nobody's tired yet, so what do we need to do? We still haven't gotten aluminum cans. It's annoying. Okay. See so more syringes, aluminum cans, cardboard, and those power and tree branches. There we go. Cardboard, tree branches, aluminum cans. Yes. Uh, 
All right, so we got some more tree cans and two more limited cans. That's not a lot, but. Okay, let's go meet with someone again. We can max out the stuff with your hero. Huh? Huh? You mean just the two of us? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a little nervous though. Inside, boo. Grew a little closer. Thank you. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever gotten something like this. Get the impression that you liked it. That's good. <laughs> hey, Makoto, you remember your promise? Huh? What promise? Huh? Did you forget already? <laughs> you promised that we could talk about you this time. You really did forget. Oh, no! Chiro looked really disappointed. With sagging shoulders, she wandered away. That's right, I did promise. She wanted to talk about me this time. Better go after her. Headed to Chiro's room. Whoa, I like the astronomy stuff. Listen, I just want to tell you that I didn't forget about my promise. Of course I remember, so cheer up, okay? Um, hey, can we talk about you today? So sure, sure, I don't mind at all. Yay! Really? Great! Then come in and sit down. Sh huh? I can come in? <laughs> yeah, of course. I also see some manga and cameras and, uh, and uh, maps and computers. I know what she said, but I'm not sure she should be so quick to let down her friends like this. <laughs> okay, let's go. I want to hear all about you. I'm happy to talk, but what do you want to know? Um... Oh, well, let's start with a question. Huh? You know? What do you like to do in your spare time? Well, you know. I watch TV, play video games, lay around, that's pretty much it. Huh? Huh? What about sports? Oh, I don't really play anything. The only time I run anywhere is during gym or when I'm running late in the morning. Huh? Really? And you're still so strong? Strong? Me? No, I'm pretty much on the bottom rung of masculinity. But... but... You're on the bottom rung? Oh. And uh, we know why he's disappointed there. Chiro seemed disappointed somehow. Hey, what's the matter? You know? Well, it's just, I'm looking for someone strong. Someone strong? Well, what about Sakura? Mm. No, I mean a guy. Thinking about strong guys, there is someone here who's probably been in a lot of fights. <laughs> yeah, Sakura was, is a girl. Mondo. Then what about Mondo? Now see, if we'd done this event before... Uh, if Fujisaki got murdered here, then it would have inadvertently been our fault. He's the ultimate biker gang leader, right? He's gotta be the strongest guy here. I see. Mondo, yeah, that's it. But why are you looking for a strong guy? Huh? She went all quiet again. Are you, like, in a tough guys or something? You know? 
I want to start training. I'm so weak. Huh? Um... I thought I could talk to someone strong about it. It might help motivate me. So that's why, huh? Sorry, I wish I could help somehow. Hey, Makoto, do you have any kind of um, inferiority complex? Oh. So Fujisaki feels that he can relate to Makoto this way. Inferiority complex? Um. You know, some part of you that you can't stand. Something you absolutely hate. Well, I guess so. For me, it's how, un how forgettably ordinary I am. I've been made painfully aware of this part of me ever since I came here. The rest of you all have your ultimate abilities, but I don't have any kind of talent at all. You know? And how do you overcome that kind of feeling? I'm not sure I can. That's why I decided to just accept it. It's how I feel and there's nothing I can do about it. And if I find myself thinking about it too much, I just find something else to do with my time. If I throw myself into something hard enough, I can forgive out for a little while. That's... Throw myself into something... I see. I see. That's a good idea. If I don't do something, nothing's ever going to change. <laughs> yeah, I think your advice has helped me understand. Advice? I'm not sure what it was anything like that. <laughs> Thanks, Mikoto. Well, if it helped, that's good enough for me. Talking to her like this, I feel like I've gotten to know she here really well. I think we understand each other a lot better. Except for that one secret about him. I wonder if maybe I've finally become a friend to her in the truest sense of the word. Good fellows. Chiro's report card. Cheat code. I had to talk with you here a little while longer. I decided to head back to my room. <laughs> I know what I have to do, and I'm going to do whatever it takes. Toko seems to be feeling pretty good. I'm going to talk to Toko this whole time. Probably should. <laughs> what do we got? Isn't that wonderful? See ya later! Well, I, I haven't known when I was passed out yet. Okay, so... Oh, boy. Not quite yet, huh? How many days we got? Three? Okay. I still need more syringes. Man, we need a lot more cans. A lot more stainless steel seatings. Jeez. Oh, that's not a lot of syringes. Oh, poor Leon. Uh, and Juco, jeez. I mean, seriously? As soon as I can't do this anymore, I quit. Are you for real? I'm feeling totally wiped, so I can't just take it from here. Well, we'll revive them in a second. Uh, let's go meet with someone. Hmm, who should I talk to? Well, I guess we can't go with Junko right now. Yeah, it's okay. Fortunately, I got those pills to revive people. Hmm. What would you like to do? We'll spend some time together. Correct. You want me to spend time with me? However... But I don't have anything to say. Are you okay with that? Spends the time with Kyoko in silence. We grew a little closer. We'll give a gift.
Hmm. Hey. Are you sure you're giving this to the right person? Uh-oh. I don't think she was too happy. Um. Yeah, let's go back. Let's go back! <laughs> hmm. I actually feel pleased. How strange. I get the impression she liked it. That's good. Can we finish this already? Huh? Finish? So... If we truly want to trust each other, we must truly know each other. That's what you believe, isn't it? Well, yeah, but... Hey. I understand why you feel that way, but... When it comes to me, I think you should probably give up. What? Why? So... Because I don't have anything to talk about... Talk... Talk to you about. Does that mean you don't trust me? If you get too involved with someone, you're apt to lose any sense of good judgment. That's what we have to do. I learned that lesson myself all too well. Personal experience is a ruthless teacher. Personal experience? Hey. Surely by now you've noticed that I always wear something unique to me. What is it? He's, she's always wearing glasses, ribbon. She doesn't wear any glasses. Gloves. Is it those gloves, right? Indeed. That's right. But why did you bring them up? Does it have something to do with getting involved, you, like you mentioned? So... Simply put, there was a time when I grew attached to someone and I made a bad decision. I was forced to learn a very powerful lesson, and these gloves are da a daily reminder of that. So on these gloves, I swore to never make the same mistake again. Sorry, but I'm not sure I completely understand. Can you tell me any more about it? Maybe then I could... However... I'm sorry, but I can't. That's the end of it. The end. So then I never got to learn anything about her, about how she feels. Anyway, don't get too depressed over all this. The reason I'm not willing to talk about it is because I don't trust you. No, is it because I don't trust you? In fact, I do have faith in you, which is why I decided to tell you what I have. Correct. Which isn't much. Why you understand why I can't tell you. I can't show you myself, just like I can't show you what's beneath these gloves. I can't remember the last person who saw what was beneath my gloves. That long? Indeed. That's right, and I can't imagine a point where I would show them ever again. Only someone I could call family would be worthy. Wait until Danganronpa 3! Family? Listen. Are you going to volunteer? Ooh, huh? Mm -hmm. Got you again. <laughs> <laughs> you really are foolishly open, and I like that. She did get me again and laughed at me again, but... I never really ha heard her laugh out loud like that. I think that must be her natural laugh. It is, right? That wasn't fake. So maybe in the end, she did show me some part of herself. Maybe she showed me her true feelings. Whew. I know I always tell you to be careful and protect yourself, but to be honest, I hope you don't change. I prefer you this way. <laughs> this is you. In the end, I never really did figure her out, but at least I got a little bit closer. Hope's Peak Confidentials. So I guess that's ma maxed out with Kyoko. After we finished up, I went back to my room. We don't get closer to her until she rescues you from the trash. <laughs> the literal trash! <laughs> Rejoice, commoners, for today I will show you just how far above you I am. Bianca seems to be feeling pretty good. Okay, we can revive stuff now, right? <laughs> we got three of them, so... Okay. What do we have? We need any more statues? Oh, we need one more, damn it! Five more parasols. This is a hard one! Ugh. Too many, too much stuff! Ugh. I think maybe we have one or two events left at Hagakure. We haven't talked to you in a while, so... 
Yeah, spend some time together. Well? Well then, why don't we have a heated discussion about cosmogony? Cosmogony? I should have read it all. Origin of the universe. Oh, I get it. It grew a little closer. Sorry, I'm kind of speeding through it now. Dual treasure by... Try this. <laughs> I'll take whatever I get my hands on. That's just my style, man. Does that mean you liked it? Well? Hey, Makoto, are you familiar with Kamada? It's a tiny little suburb in Tokyo, right? Yeah, I've heard of it. What about it? Hmm. Well, don't tell anyone I told you this, but they appear there. What? Huh? What does? Uh um... UMAs! UMAs are, I think, unidentified... Um... No, that's unidentified flying objects. Unidentified... Cryptids? You're talking about cryptids, right? Unidentified and mysterious animals. Oh. You know? You got it, and it just so happens they've been appearing in Little Comeda. What kind of cryptid? How about that? A terrifying skyfish! In the west, they're us usually just called rods. They can fly and they have thin body with a big white fin. They can move their fins in a wave pattern, which lets them move faster than the naked eye can see. Could it be? You ever heard of the Animala's Caris? Some people think that's what the skyfish evolved from. And some others think they're an artificial life form, a genetically engineered military super weapon. Uh... Is that scary as hell? But uh, what would they be doing in Tokyo, and in Kamada, no less? Uh, um... Nobody knows, but I think they're dangerous. You know how close Kamada is to the to Haneda Airport, right? I don't want to wait till it's too late. I've been thinking we, I should call the, all the airlines. Hmm. They need to know there's a way to get rid of those damn skyfish, and I know what it is. As long as they can pay my fee, I can keep things safe for them. That's what I'm going to tell them. Um... I wouldn't do that for you. I see a lot of jail time in your future if you do. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Plus, isn't that like super cult? I just don't understand. Yeah. Number of skill points increase. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room. And there's no way I'm able to finish this statue or whatever. That was a lot of materials. Uh, this, okay then. Yeah, so uh, there's no way. Mm, there's no way I got got enough of that. See. Well, I guess we just face the music. 
This is not acceptable! You better start taking this seriously. I know you can do better than this. Anyone could. So the next concept is... Heavy Arms Monokuma. Right here! <laughs> it's important that we do our best no matter what the goal is. Kyoko seems to be feeling pretty good. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Alright. See ya. We'll play for a little more. I'm getting addicted to this, actually. Sandwich. Ooh, a lot of people are down. What do we need? I got microchips. What was the next? Gas burner? We got lots of syringes, at least. And a welder. We need 30 of those? Damn it! This is hard. Maybe we shouldn't have used those metal plates. Okay, let's try this again. I think I know what might be better. Interesting how we go to a different location. What? Do I do you intend to follow me wherever I go? God's grant me patience. Refuse to get discouraged and spend some time with Yakia. Persistent. We grew a little closer, and now we'll get a better present. Hmm, let's try this. If you insist, I suppose I can accept it. Does that mean you liked it? <laughs> a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Huh? What? It's a proverb. It means if you can only obtain something inferior, that's still better than longing for something better. Yeah, I know what it means, but so what? So in other words... <sighs> Put another way, if all you have nearby is a loser, that's better than a proper assistant far away. <laughs> Makoto, be my secretary. What? What? Hmm. A useless commoner like you could never hope to earn more than, say, $100,000 a year. But as my secretary, you would be guaranteed an ample salary and job security for the rest of your life. $100,000 actually right now would be pretty sweet. <laughs> and in honor of it being my birthday today... Hmm. Really? How about I multiply your already impossible expectations by, oh, 5.5? $100,000 per times 5.5 .5, you mean hold on i know math so 5.5 .5. i don't want to do the math okay uh no i know how it works with zero so it would be 55.0 so it'll be $550,000? That's like board member money. What? Of course, as my secretary, you wouldn't, wouldn't be a mere servant. At some point, 
I would want you to become an actual assistant, taking the lead on porn projects. Assuming you produce acceptable results, you could even become a core part of the Togami Corporation. So in other words... That's more than assistants make in the States. I'm sorry. You have no reason to refuse. Unless they mean yen. I don't know how that works. It's also sudden. I don't get why, but he seems serious about it. Still, I... I'm sorry, but I've got to say no. I'm trying to give you a chance to enter the battlefield of life and claim victory. Most commoners will never get that chance. This is literally a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Do you understand? This is your chance. This is your one and only chance to rise above the 99%. So that's it. Are you really so scared of having to fight to compete in order to win? It's not that I'm scared. It's that I want to succeed based on my own effort. I want to find my own battlefield. I don't want to hand it to me. I want to earn it. I want to find something I'm willing to sa fight and die for. That's the only way I'll be satisfied. Huh. Then you meant what you said earlier. That if you can live a life that you're satisfied with, that's all that matters. I see. Hmm. I'm glad to see you passed my test. You jerk. Your test? Naturally. That's right. The mere thought of someone like you as my secretary makes me physically ill. Wait, so then... What? The salary offer still stands, of course. It's yours if you want it. I don't need you spreading rumors that Byaku Togami doesn't honor his word. So he basically be paying me to do nothing? In a way, I almost regret my decision. I immediately <laughs> regret this decision! But I must say, I just don't understand you. You don't want to fight, and yet you don't flee from the battle either. It's like I said. For me, happiness comes from living the life I want to live. Hmm, easy enough to say. <laughs> Interesting. Now you have to enforce your will until the very end. <laughs> if you can do that, if you can make it to the end, I'm afraid I'll be forced to acknowledge you. Then that's exactly what I'll do. Someday, absolutely. <laughs> I don't expect much from you, but I'll be waiting. Alright. Maximum number of skill points. So we haven't done all, this, you know, all the events with him yet. Once we were done, I had it back to my room for a little while. And we still got... Mm hmm. Hmm, who should I talk to? Well, we're saving before we do anything else. I'm gonna have to stop soon. Because it's getting late. Now then. Well, we're almost at the top with Junko there. Come on and see what happens when we max it out. Well. Okay, so do you have any video games? Hmm. Siri? Total. Yeah, we did this event. <laughs> More affection points. Um, this? Okay. Hell yeah. Yeah, Mondo. Well, I guess I have no choice but to show you how freaking serious I can get. Mondo seems to be feeling pretty good. Well, nobody's that tired, so. What can we make? Okay, so microchip, gas burner, welder.
Okay, we're gonna go meet with someone. Okay, but I think this would be a good place to stop because, oh my God, am I tired and hungry. So, so long, farewell.